Yes, tech teamwork and tiny bricks have been at the heart of this year's first Lego League Ireland Championships where school children from across the nation attempt to impress the judges with their amazing Lego robots. And joining us now is Director of the League, Ross Maguire, and some of the finalists, Jack from Bow Hill from St Andrews College, Amara from Boyne Community School, and Fionn Redmond from Foroga Bally Brick. And thank you all for being here. This is so cool. Ross, this really is cool. We're yeah. suitably impressed. Mm. Uh, but tell us about this League. So, first Lego League, it's a global challenge. There's nearly one million young people around the world that take part in it. So, we look after it for Ireland, the best country out there. Um, so, we've about 250 teams this year have taken part. They've gone to regionals all across the country, from Dublin down to Cork, to Galway, into the Midlands. These three teams here are some of our top 25 teams that are going to compete tomorrow. It's a life skills challenge. They're learning about technology, so they're building robots using Lego. They write code. They do innovation projects. They're developing key life skills that they can use when they go into college, when they go into a different career. Mm -hmm. So it's a really, really cool uh, project. That it's a, it reminds me of the Young Scientist competition, but just for Lego. Pretty much in a sense, yeah. yeah. It's got more robots, it's got more noise. Uh, we're quite loud at our events. Our final tomorrow is, <laughs> it's a party. It's known to be a party, so uh, we bring that fun to it. But yeah, it is a lot like that, yeah. Amazing. Should we meet it's some cool. of the robots? I think we should. I yeah. think we should. Fionn, tell us uh, about yours. So this is the Viking Voyager from... Um, so we built it, me and Lucas here, we built it ourselves. And we he basically, he, it drives around the table... It, it lifts this arm mainly and then in here we have more jigs to add to it this goes on the back here here on this kind of x on the little squid thing over there then we've got these other two these are called disposables and they go out to the circles underneath that ship and just behind the squid thing hang to keep it to to like bring those the squid thing and that shark over there to out so, wow. so, so there is a challenge to it. All yes, the way. there and, is. And and what about the coding? So the coding mainly is done by I, I Evan here and another lad, who isn't here. Shout out, out to Fahim currently. He and they're all we're all teaming up together. So it's all done together. Okay, and you're all excited. Yes, absolutely. Well, this is fantastic. So cool. And I've got Boyle Community College with me here, Amara, Johan, and Aiden. Tell me about your robot. So this is our robot here. It's mm -hmm. called the Aquabot, and basically this part here is meant to collect up all the fish you can see, like all around the board. And then this part here is meant to collect that, but sometimes it doesn't work very well. Can we can we see it in action? Yeah. Now, Johan, will you tell me as you're setting it up how this works? So this one, it, it uses gyro code to actually make the turns accurate. So it goes straight, turns left. And then, so we know, since we're using gyro, we know it's accurate every single time we do it. And who creates the gyro code, Aiden? Uh, that would be uh, my Let's friend, that up there Jeremiah. And Hold on, let me come around to you. Tell me. Uh, that would be uh, our teammate, Jeremiah. He does most of uh, the coding. Uh, he set up the code for um, uh, a lot of the missions and... Yeah, he, he made the gyro code. Uh, it worked. It actually works really well, and you'll see that now in yeah, a second Yeah, okay, here. let's see it in action. Oh, what's happening here now, Johan? I accidentally pressed the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, who among us hasn't been there? Here we go. So what's it doing now? Collecting? So it's collecting all that so we, get, so we can secure the points on the board. How many points do you get for collecting one little... So, it depends. So, if we push that one out, we get five points. Okay. And then we get the reef segments as well. That's different types of points. Wow. All, it depends on the mat. If you're press, pushing it outside, that's 10, 15. Depends on how many reef segments we collect every single time. Incredible. I think, Martin, my team is winning over here. Oh, well, I, I think they've wiped out everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> Just a one fail swoop across yeah, the board. that's how you do it. All right, let's talk to Jack, because, Jack, tell us about, uh, tell us about your creation. So we built this robot. Um, it's got a couple of attachments that connect using a, a gear system on the top, connecting to these motors that so we can complete these missions over here. Uh, I can run it if you'd like to see. Let's have a look. So what is it doing, Jack? Um, it should drive forward 
push that over, which gives us 10 points, then it, it should collect that normally, uh, which would get us another 20. Sure, this is only a rehearsal, Jack. Yeah. Tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow's the big day. We're, we're, Tomorrow's we're when we'll... Uh, your, your team are called Brobot, yeah? Yeah, Brobots, yeah. which is kind of ironic considering we've actually got a girl on our team. Okay, is, was there a debate then? Yeah, there was, but we decided to keep it for a tradition. She was all right with that, so it was... It was... Okay, uh, okay, it's working. You, you, you need to name check your teammates. Yeah. yeah. And uh, who, who are the other people on the team? Um, so we've got Elijah, Ben, Lynette, and Ryan. They should all be watching, probably, from the school. Um, you see, they're allowed off the yeah, first couple of classes. They should so be. They can watch should this. be. It's yeah. On, it, it, it's on. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit nervous. First time in nationals should be exciting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because you've been, you, you, you've, you, you've done this before, haven't you? Uh, yeah, done this a couple of times before, but never got this far. So okay. we've definitely advanced a lot since the previous years. Okay, okay. And uh, like the, the whole team this year has been submerged. Yeah. So that's why we've got all these water things. And uh, yeah, you'll be fine on the big day. A few more rehearsals. Should be, yeah. Okay. Should be. Okay. So I assume everybody's all excited, Ross. Uh, a little bit, yeah. It's a, there's a big crowd here already of supporters. But yeah, it's going to be... There's going to be about 500 people here tomorrow. Well, not here. Uh, at our venue. Uh, Where are we going to put them? Yeah, yeah. Our 24... We say that tomorrow as well. Our 24 teams yeah. with their robots all competing to win. It, and it's not just about this this table. It's not just about the robot and, and getting those points on the table. They've got their innovation projects that they're going to be presenting. So each team has done research on how, like finding problems with our oceans. Um, I know St. Andrews has chatting with uh, Jack there with the uh, testing water quality around Dublin Bay and building a website really casually. But that's the kind of thing these kids do. That's cool. They're Very unbelievable, cool. the work they do. And then we get to work, like we work with Research Island. We've got uh, corporates that uh, work with us like Meta and Amazon. And we get these volunteers in. We've got 30 volunteers come along to judge tomorrow. These are trained professionals, highly skilled, who sit in those rooms and listen to these presentations and are blown away every single time. So how many robots are going to be there tomorrow? There'll be 24 robots competing. Wow. And one team will be crowned. Who's going to win? Us. Us. <laughs> yes, there we go. I like how you asked your team first. Yeah, yeah, you need yeah. to get in there, Martin. That's the yeah. tactics, but, you know. Well, 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 listen, we've got the four all good people. We've got the guys from Balbriggan. We've got Boyle Community College. Come on. <laughs> We will wait and see what happens. <laughs> anyway, uh, good luck to all of you. Good luck to the other yes. 21 teams who are also competing. And uh, we hope all goes well. Cheers. OK. I know, brilliant. All right. Now, let's... Oh, it's ice cream. Is there? It's ice cream time. It's ice Elaine, cream. what's going on? Well, it is ice cream time, but you know, because I had that Domino's garlic Easter egg earlier, they said I needed a little bit of a treat to make up for it. So here... Lovely people from Teddy's are here to give us ice cream. But Martin, I hate I, to break it. I can only it look at it. Oh. It's because, you know, it's Lent. Yeah. You can't have any because you wouldn't have the Domino's. And do you know what's worse? No, I'm with good reason. Gar garlic it, ones. Yeah. Okay. It, we'll it, have another it, ice cream. Garlic, Would you like garlic an ice chocolate. cream? Do, I'm going to say, this is awful and I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I don't like 99s. Sacrilege, Les. No, I'll, I'll have a flake, though. I'll have a flake. Yeah. Don't judge mm. me. Come on in, all of you. Of course you're getting ice creams. Come this on. This is delicious. You make mm. robots. You need something oh to fuel your brains. Oh, and uh, uh, coming up tomorrow, we'll be have we becoming a nation of oversharers. We'll be debating whether you can ever really give too much information with a columnist oh, panel. OK, and uh, we've got a couple of the footballers' wives coming in as well to talk to us. That should be interesting, too. Yeah. <laughs> Are you um, eating your flake? I'm going to yeah. eat the flake with a little bit of ice cream. Mm. OK, well, it's going to be talking Big Brother first elimination tonight. See you tomorrow. It's on. Take care. Bye.